Hello and welcome back to Planet Nibiru, where anything is possible. As we have been covering the saga of the homunculus, many folks have raised questions and expressed thoughts about the origins of man and animals and how we are manipulating DNA to alter the genetic code of both plants and animals to fit our needs. Aside from the obvious question of ethics, we have to look at the benefits of genetic engineering and how we can apply that science in responsible ways to empower and enhance humanity. But does life already have its own way of altering genetic code when needed? Can plants and animals change the way they interact with the outside world under extreme circumstances in order to promote life? Well, scientists at the University of Illinois at Chicago might say yes to that question and more. Recently, Thomas Park, a professor of biological science at UIC and his colleagues have made some astounding discoveries about the genetics of naked mole rats. It seems that these little guys can essentially turn themselves into plants when certain extreme environmental situations arise, allowing them to live in situations where they would normally perish very quickly. Pretty crazy, right? The study is even more important because of the special anti-cancer genes that mole rats have that prevents them from getting cancer. And they are also being studied because they have a unique ability to not only survive heart attacks and strokes, but also to heal and recover extremely fast. Scientists have been trying to isolate these genes to help treat humans with these conditions. If they can blend these preventative genes with humans, they can treat or potentially even cure two of the main causes of deaths in humans. Professor Park explains in a recent article in the Journal of Science how, when deprived of oxygen, naked mole rats can survive by metabolizing fructose just as plants do. They slow their metabolism, entering a sleep-like state where they need very little oxygen to survive, allowing them to live in situations where they normally wouldn't or couldn't. Understanding how the animals do this could lead to treatments for patients suffering a crisis of oxygen deprivation, as in heart attacks and strokes. This is just the latest remarkable discovery about the naked mole rat, a cold-blooded mammal that lives decades longer than other rodents, rarely gets cancer, and doesn't feel many types of pain. Thomas Park, professor of biological scientists at the University of Illinois at Chicago, has led an international team of researchers from UIC, the Max Delbruck Institute of Berlin, and the University of Pretoria in South Africa on this study. He says that in humans, laboratory mice, and all other known mammals, when brain cells are starved of oxygen, they run out of energy and begin to die. But naked mole rats have a backup system. Their brain cells start burning fructose, which produces energy anaerobically through a metabolic pathway that is only used by plants, or so scientists thought. In this new study, the researchers exposed naked mole rats to low oxygen conditions in the laboratory and found that they released large amounts of fructose into the bloodstream. The fructose, the scientists found, was transported into the brain by molecular fructose pumps that in all other mammals are found only on cells of the intestine. For severe oxygen deprivation, the naked mole rats release fructose into the blood and the brain cells and heart cells are full of fructose pumps and enzymes that can metabolize fructose. This is not seen in any other mammal. It's more associated with the way plants use metabolism. So they have an insect-like social structure and they have a plant-like metabolism. The naked mole rat has simply rearranged some basic building blocks of metabolism to make it super tolerant to low oxygen conditions. At oxygen levels low enough to kill a human within minutes, naked mole rats can survive for at least five hours. They go into a state of suspended animation, reducing their movement and dramatically slowing their pulse and breathing rate to conserve energy. And they begin using fructose until oxygen is again available. The naked mole rat is the only known mammal to use suspended animation to survive oxygen deprivation. The scientists also showed that naked mole rats are protected from another deadly aspect of low oxygen, which is a buildup of fluid in the lungs, called pulmonary edema, that afflicts mountain climbers at high altitude. The scientists think that the naked mole rats' unusual metabolism is an adaptation for living in their oxygen-poor burrows. Unlike other subterranean mammals, naked mole rats live in hypercrowded conditions packed in with hundreds of other colony mates. 
With so many animals living together in unventilated tunnels, oxygen supplies are quickly depleted. If scientists isolate these genes and deliver new cancer, heart attack, and stroke treatments, the world will not only be a better, brighter place, but it will be one more huge win for science and a huge step towards winning the ultimate battle. The battle with death itself. Immortality has always been a key focus of mankind, and one day we will find the solution. Of course that will raise more ethical questions, but I believe that when we do find a way to live on forever, each man should make that choice for himself. Until then, we marvel at the advances that science makes in our lives every single day. Thank you for watching, please like, subscribe, and comment, and swing by our Amazon store that is linked in the description for awesome deals on super cool gadgets that you'll be happy to give or receive during the holidays. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.